Hi, this is our music room. Come on in. Hi, I'm Ruben. I've been playing guitar since 1994, and music has always been a part of my life, especially since junior high. Today, I'll walk you through a sample of my guitar world. Hanging on the wall are some of my favorite bands and guitarists. Stone Temple Pilots, Stevie Ray Vaughan, Def Leppard, Rammstein, Megadeth, Guns N' Roses, and Samantha Fish. Our teenager is also musically skilled, especially on percussion, but also on keyboard. Over the years I've collected several guitars, but today I have nine electric guitars in my collection. You can't talk about a guitar collection without talking about the guitar amplifiers behind it. So here's the ones in my collection. This is a Spider 3 15 watt amp by Line 6. It's a perfect practice amp and one of the things I like about it is it comes with several built in effects. This is a classic custom tube amp made by Delero Music. This particular amp features a preamp capability and a 75 watt Jensen speaker. This is a beginner amp from First Act. Besides using it to augment my guitar sound, we also use it in this house for vocals, meaning we plug a microphone to it. One of the cool things about electric guitars and amplification is you can add all kinds of really cool tools to otherwise enhance and build upon the sound and just get very creative. I'm going to show you today a couple of the toys I have to do just that. This is the Amplify FX100 Multiprocessor FX Pedal System from Line 6. This device will let me configure multiple different types of guitar sounds and emulate different configurations. And the cool thing about this particular device is I can do that using a mobile app via Bluetooth technology. This is the GNX3 by Digitech. This is a multiprocessor effects pedal system featuring multiple pre-configured guitar effects and an expression pedal on the far right hand side for controlling volume and the wall pedal effect. This is an RP500 by Digitech. This is another example of a multiprocessor effects pedal system and also features multiple pre-configured guitar effects. Several of the major ones are represented by the five buttons below and it includes an expression pedal on the far right hand side. This is an example of a custom pedal board. Featured on it is a Zoom G3 multiprocessor effects pedal system. It features multiple configurable options for different guitar effects and sounds, also with the expression pedal on the far left hand side. But in addition, there's also a kill switch pedal to essentially kill the guitar sound at any time and keep it off. And also a natty guitar wireless system. Here's another example of a custom guitar effects pedal board. This particular board features a guitar tuner, a noise compressor or reducer pedal, a wah pedal, this one happens to be the Dimebag Daryl, Crybaby from Hell, 
and then the Metal Zone MT2 pedal from Boss. I use two simple rigs when playing here at home. First, the tube amp plus the pedal effects board plugged directly into the power amp. This delivers a simple, traditional, and robust amplified sound. Secondly, both small amps plugged into the right and left output of the pedal effects board. This supports a stereo amplified sound. Earlier, I shared a couple of the cool toys I have to build or emulate some pretty creative guitar effects. Let's continue to explore. Guitar effects can generally fall into five categories corresponding to the musical or electronic characteristics. This chart summarizes those categories. Next, I'll demonstrate each of these effects with rock songs you might recognize. Let's wrap up by briefly exploring three common musical ideas applied on guitar. Thank you. 
I hope you enjoyed this brief walkthrough through my guitar and guitar music world. Until next time.